as Africans, they have uh, human rights to freedom of movement and freedom of association, as well as a right to self-determination. They were gathered in Abuja to meet an exercise of their freedom of assembly when they were reported to have been arrested uh, by security forces in Nigeria. Being foreigners, if you are going to arrest foreigners and you want to take them out of your country, you must uh, do that under the Extradition Act of Nigeria. But there is no extradition treaty between Nigeria and Cameroons. To that extent, their detention or their arrest cannot be justified under the law in Nigeria. You're saying that if there is no extradition treaty between Nigeria and Cameroon, then these separatists shouldn't have been transferred to Yaoundé, as has been reported. They cannot be transferred. That would be legal in the sense that if they haven't committed an offence in Nigeria, you cannot arrest them in Nigeria. But if they have committed an offence in Nigeria, you have to take them to a Nigerian court to try them. But what is important is that a couple of them, or about three of them, are actually asylees. They've been granted political asylum to remain in Nigeria. So they cannot be arrested and taken to uh, Cameroon. The other point which we must make clear is that the Cameroonian government says that there are international arrest warrants out for these separatists. We challenge the Cameroonian government to produce the international warrant of arrest, issued by which court? By the International Criminal Court of which court? There is no international court that issues warrant of arrest. You can only get a warrant of arrest in your country and perhaps register it in another country. But there is nothing known as international warrant of arrest under international law. What about an Interpol warrant of arrest? If Interpol has issued a warrant of arrest, that would be based on the request of a country. It has to be based on the request of a particular country that must have declared them wanted in that country. It's not very clear to you as to whether the Cameroonian government actually has an international arrest warrant. No, there is no such thing. And that's why we're challenging the Cameroonian government to produce the warrant of arrest. And if it's going to be executed, it has to be executed through a court in Nigeria. Nobody can come to Nigeria under the pretext of executing a warrant of arrest and just abduct anybody without taking him to court. That's not part of our law here. 